Hello guys, ready to do some visual mnemonics for net? We are going to discuss authors and works through pictures. It was Shweta from Team Valat who came up with this idea. First question to you. Guess the name of the play that got staged in 1910 and changed solitary confinement rules in Britain. You can guess the answer from the picture. Yes, it is Justice by John Galsworthy. Justice revolves around the story of the poor clerk William Falder and his miserable sweetheart Ruth. She is socially and sexually harassed by her husband and the play Justice throws light upon the misery and plight of the poor individuals of the society, leading their lives like outcasts. Okay, the next question to you. Guess the novel by a journalist who depicted the potteries. And he wrote self-help books like How to Live on 24 Hours a Day and Journalism for Women. You can see Gates here and a man who is very angry. You know it. It is The Gates of Wrath by Arnold Bennett. He depicted the potteries or five towns. The Gates of Wrath is a thriller novel subtitled A Mellow Drama. Guess the name of the verse play that shows fishers in upper class life written by a modernist poet. You see a lot of people holding cocktails. Yes, it is The Cocktail Party, a play by T.S. Eliot. It presents a troubled married couple who, through the intervention of a mysterious stranger, remember there is a mysterious stranger who solves their problems. The married couple settle their problems and move on with their lives. That is The Cocktail Party by T.S. Eliot. Moving on, guys. Guess the name of the philosophical essay by Aldous Huxley that took its title from William Blake. You can see clouds and stairs. It looks like heaven. Oh, this is hell, I guess. Fire. Heaven and hell. That is the philosophical essay by Aldous Huxley. It was published in 1956 and it derived its title from William Blake's book, The Marriage of Heaven and Hell. The essay by Huxley discusses the relationship between bright colorful objects, geometric designs, art and experience. Okay, guess the name of the debut play by J.B. Priestley. What is this? A bus. Oh my God, it's a dangerous turn that the bus is taking. Turn. Do you think the title is turn? No, the title of the debut play by Priestley is Dangerous Corner. Robert and Frida Kaplan are entertaining guests at their country retreat. That is a story of Dangerous Connor by J.B. Priestley. Dangerous Connor. Guess the name of the all-women cast play that embraced post-feminism. It engaged directly with Thatcherism and brought on stage historical women. Brought on stage historical women from the classics. What is this? These are all women who won prizes. What could be that? It is Top Girls, a play by Carol Churchill. It depicts the life of Marlene, a successful career woman who has just received a major promotion. And she has unequivocally fought her way to the top. The play explores the realities of being female and the potential prize of achieving success. That is... The seventh question, do you guess the name of the sci-fi novel by Ted Hughes? Sci-fi novel, The Iron Man, a children's story in five nights. Published in 1968 by Faber and Faber. Oh wow, Hughes later wrote a sequel, The Iron Woman. It's about environmental themes related to pollution, The Iron Man and The Iron Woman. Okay, eighth question. Guess the name of the novel by Ian McEwan that features a female secret agent as the protagonist. What is this? One tooth. Is it called a dentist? Sweet. He is holding an ice cream. Oh, it is Sweet Tooth. A 2012 novel by Ian McEwan. 
Serena Frium. That is how it should be pronounced. Serena Frium is recruited by MI5. She gets involved in a covert program to combat communism. The novel is dedicated to McEwen's late friend, Christopher Hitchens. Guys, are you loving this? Don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Moving on to the ninth question. Guess the name of the modern retelling of The Beauty and the Beast by Angela Carter. Oh, that is sweet, isn't it? What is the name? It is The Tiger's Bride, a short story by Angela Carter. The Tiger's Bride is a modern retelling of the traditional Beauty and the Beast by Madame de Beaumont. And the last question, do you guess the name of the sci-fi novel by J.G. Ballard? What is this? Drugs. Is it heroin? Cocaine? Yes, it is Cocaine Nights by J.G. Ballard. Did you know that J.G. Ballard wrote Cocaine Nights? He wrote Drowned World, Burning World, Crystal World, Empire of the Sun. Cocaine Nights deals with the idea of dystopian resort communities. These communities maintain their seemingly perfect balance via a number of dark secrets. Yay! Did you like that? These are visual mnemonics brought to you by Valat and Shweta and Kalyani Valat. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.